How to retire in style. Warren Buffett's shares. You can always count on success if you take Warren Buffett's recommendations. There's a plethora of knowledge and wisdom available from the wealthy investor known as the Oracle of Omaha. You can learn a lot about how to invest wisely in light of the current market conditions from his annual shareholder letters and presentations. One piece of his guidance in particular could prevent you from losing a lot of money in the stock market today. You should, he advises those who have suffered significant financial losses. The most important thing to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. So what does this mean? This means that anyone who's lost money on a stock could feel like they're in a hole. A deeper loss means a deeper chasm. It's human nature to want to get out of a hole you've dug for yourself. And sometimes that means making riskier trades or averaging down. Let's say you invested in shares of COVID-19 vaccine developer Moderna, NASDAQ MRNA, last year around its $497 peak. Your weighted average purchase price would be $312.50 less if you were to purchase the same number of shares at today's price of about $128. Moreover, if you doubled your share purchase at the present price, you would be paying an average of $251. As buying more, the stock will lower your average price. Doing so may be financially beneficial. In mathematical terms, this is the equivalent of digging. However, you've just poured a lot more money into an asset that's been plummeting in value. Buffett isn't averse to purchasing a stock that's declined in value, provided it's a strong stock, like Moderna is. If the stock may not have good recovery chances, you may be putting yourself in a worse position by doing so. Like Buffett told his investors in a letter in 2014, My advice to the trustee could not be more simple. Put 10% of the cash in short-term government bonds and 90% in a very low-cost S&P 500 index fund. I suggest vanguards. I believe the trust's long-term results from this policy will be superior to those attained by most investors, whether pension funds, institutions, or individuals who employ high-fee managers. Here a few thoughts. Let's see more broken down mode, but still in Warren Buffett's ideas. The 90-10 rule as developed by Buffett. Okay, let's dissect this thing. To begin, a mutual fund or exchange traded fund, ETF, that tracks an index is called an index fund. Buffett recommends an S&P 500 index fund, which invests in the 500 largest publicly traded corporations in the United States. An index fund value increases in tandem with the S&P 500s. If you're saving for retirement, Buffett says you should put 90% of your money into an index fund that focuses on stocks. Short-term government bonds are where Buffett recommends putting the remaining 10%. These funds support public initiatives. They carry a low rate of interest and a low level of risk when compared to other investment options. As some bonds pay interest on a regular basis, they can be a reliable source of income that's both safe and stable. Bond funds typically suffer less than stock funds when the overall financial markets are unstable. Considerable restraint is warranted. If a stock isn't doing well, you may want to consider selling your holdings and moving on to something else. Companies like Moderna and Novavax are just two examples of those with a challenging future, and they're far from alone. Investors may be better off purchasing shares of growth stocks with brighter and more secure prospects than doubling down and putting more money at risk in such investments. The stock of Qualcomm is also a solid choice. Qualcomm's Snapdragon CPUs are used in a staggering number of smartphones around the world. World. According to CounterPoint research, Qualcomm's share of the global smartphone application processor market increased from 23% at the end of 2020 to 30% by the end of 2021. The company has a monopoly on the market for 5G baseband modems with a share of 76% thanks to the proliferation of 5G devices. Saving on investment costs. Additionally, Buffett suggests that people who invest stay away from managers who charge exorbitant rates. Investment costs might quickly accumulate. Take the example of a 25-year-old with $25,000 in their retirement account. 
They invest $10,000 annually at a 7% return and hope to retire in 40 years. Investing at a rate of 1% would cost them roughly $600,000 after 40 years. If this person followed Buffett's advice and invested in lower cost funds, they might save almost $200,000 in fees and retire about $340,000 richer. Note, however, that many financial gurus would disagree with Buffett's weighting, so you should think twice before acting on his recommendation. Some might say that a strategy is too dependent on volatile stock-based funds, where a single economic downturn can wipe out retirement savings for years to come, and that this is especially problematic for his clients who are already in their later years. A common rule of thumb is to allocate an amount to bond funds in your portfolio that's proportional to your age. Bonds and bond funds are where you want to put half of your money if you're 50 years old. Financial gurus agree that this is too conservative and simplistic, but they disagree with Buffett's approach because they believe it to be too hazardous. And that's it, guys. Hope you had a lot of fun exploring your options for investment for your retirement. Do make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to be in the loop when we come up with more interesting content.